It's 9.30 in the morning, Saturday, May 16th. Pleasant uh, spring day here in Wisconsin, Little Prairie, Wisconsin. And here is my Dumont RA392. And I'm going to blow dust out of it with my shop vac and I have my tube tester out here. I'm going to test all those tubes. And the reason I'm doing that now, I have other projects on the bench. But the reason I'm doing that right now is a, a ham radio friend of mine uh, down south from me. He has uh, uh, quite a lot of new old stock string series tubes that a friend of his would like to have. And so he wanted me to see if I needed any for this set. Now I also have a stash of tubes. Many of them are string series uh, uh, voltages on the filament, so I'm going to see if there's any bad ones in here, and then uh, if I do find one, I'll see. if I don't have one, I'll let him know. But that's why I'm going to do this right now. So here I am, poised. Dust really sticks in there. I'm about to test the 12BQ6 horizontal output tube. I tested the damper. Both the damper and this tube are Dumont branded, original probably in the set. The uh, damper tube tested excellent. And we'll see what the uh, 12BQ6 uh, tests. And the 12BQ6 tests excellent, excellent. Original Dumont branded tube. And it still tests way up in the green. I'm about to test the high voltage rectifier. That flyback looks absolutely excellent. Uh, in very good shape. I think the only thing that's really wrong with this set is a weak picture tube, really. Uh, it was pretty dim when I had it lit up, but at any event, uh, I'll be testing the, uh, horse, uh, or the uh, high voltage rectifier. And the 1B3, also branded Dumont, tests well up into the green. Isn't that amazing? So one bad tube so far, and it's Dumont branded a 5AT8 one side tests good, the other side is uh, uh, dead. So that's one bad tube. And here is a 6BK7, it's an RCA replacement. It's supposed to be a 5BK7. So that's going to put the filament voltages off slightly and make the set not quite work right. So I have to get a 6BK7. I misread the 5BK7. I, it, I thought it was a 6BK7. It's a 5. Uh, I'm going to test it. Um, I, it was dirty. I didn't clean it. I just assumed it said 6 instead of 5. But it is a 5BK7. So I'll test that tube now. So I was wrong. The 5AT8 is just fine. I just uh, I, I misread the uh, chart and, and had it on the wrong position to test the second plate. So uh, I've, there are 15 tubes in this uh, set and I've tested all of the tubes. I'm going to test the CRT in a minute, but I've tested all of the tubes and none of them are bad. They're all good. I can't get the filament in the CRT to light with my CRT tester and the problem is is the solder is bad on this pin. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to bring my soldering gun out and I'm going to just touch that a little bit. The, the, the trick is, <clears throat> technicians years ago used to crimp these, but the trick is, is to not get it too hot because if the wire that goes through the CRT gets hot enough, it could crack the seal. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a quick touch up and just on that pin only, on that pin only, I'll, I'll deal with the rest of it later, but I can't get a test on the CRT right now. So I touched the, uh, touched up the, the filament pins. I hope I didn't heat it. I had to heat it up a lot more than I liked. Hopefully that won't break the tube, but we'll see. So anyways, I got the filament wires uh, 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 working now so that I can get some action on my CRT tester. And that tube is about as dead as dead can be. It just barely has emissions. So the bottom line of that is I'm not going to uh, ever plan on restoring this set unless I would find a 14 SP4 tube for it. So if anybody watches this video knows of a good one, a new old stock or a rebuilt, I'd be interested, but I'm not going to... This can be just a display piece at this point. I'm not going to worry about finding that tube. Uh, but anyways, that's as far as it goes on this Dumont. So it's amazing here. As, as bad as that CRT tests, this thing will still display a picture. <laughs> Hard to believe, I know. So I actually might one day try to restore this even if I don't find a CRT for it. But for now this will be the end of this video.